Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben, and this is a quick guide to the Mobula in Guns of Icarus Online. So, first things first with this the gunner. He'll normally be up here on this little shelf at the top. He'll have his long range gun, and it will normally be a Hades or a Mercury Field gun. Something with a lot of range, and normally not too much of an arc to it. He'll stay up there for the duration. Generally, he probably won't keep an eye on, on the main engine. That will fall to one of the engineers. And then, basically, one of you will go right and one of you will go left out the door. If you go left, you'll be covering a turning engine, the hull, and then you'll also have a gun to fire. Now, unlike the other few ships, you'll pretty much always be on a gun. Quite a common loadout is to have long range weapons, particularly an Artemis on either top side and then something more close range on the bottom. So this one's got a flamer down there and then there should be a flat cannon down here for when the hull goes down, yeah, when the armor's down. Artemis is a pretty good weapon for this because it's got such a wide arc you'll be able to line up all three to fire at once. And the basic gist of it is you want to be... Uh, Keeping everything chem sprayed nicely. Although it's less of an issue when you're in long range combat. And basically, you just sit and shoot. Uh, it's fairly easy to do. And when you have got the shorter range weapons, your captain should tell you when to switch to them. Uh, when it's something like this, he'll tell you when the enemy's hull is down. And you should jump on this to take them down. And on the right side, you'll be taking care of the turning engine again same as the other side but instead of the hull you've got the balloon so you each have one important component and then the other minor ones of course the main key to the mobula is hope no one comes behind you because you've got no guns and you aren't going to be turning fast enough to to get out of it thanks for watching